Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back. This is the Invincible. This is another part of the playthrough that we've been doing. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get this story going. But if you're new here, welcome to the channel. We do a bunch of different playthroughs. Uh, go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're enjoying it. If you've been here before, go ahead and leave a like and comment as well. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get this game on rolling. I'll search for those containers of flies. I've located one of the transporters, sir. Please don't celebrate yet, though. Something strange has happened to it. Get to the point, please. What's wrong with it? The outer shell is damaged. There are holes everywhere. Like from bullets? No. It looks like it's been corroded by strong acid. What the hell? Very well updated. <clears throat> Excuse me. The door to the car. Damn, the whole thing is filled with that stuff. It won't open fully. Oh, there's a person though. Or is that an android? Looks like it could be a person. That's a robot, I think. It's too awkward to squeeze in. vehicle is just stuffed with bushes but can you see yeah. past them not quite yet oh, nice now crush containers oh it's those containers no sign of the flies just plenty of bushes. You have yeah. Theory, sir. What the hell did you say? Bushes. Absurd. Uh, well, look, I think Back I up. Like this. The bushes and flies have a symbiotic relationship. I even consider that the flies are part of the bushes. Just like so the fruits. fruits. If the flies can fly. They behave more like insects, and the bushes like plants. I see we're getting back to biological get analogies. Yep. According to your profession, do I come to force field. that you are confident that this can be a life form? I'm not sure whether to call it life. Given the age of the oldest fawns and the evidence of continued activity, differentiation. A particular drive towards miniaturization, improvement, and lethal effectiveness. It all resembles the evolutionary path of living forms. The only problem is, it's not alive. So, with a large dose of doubt, you could still call it evolution? A dead evolution, if anything. I still don't understand where this change is coming from. What if I said that the flies and bushes are the same thing? But in different forms. When they need to move, they develop moving parts, the flies. When they need to multiply, expand their volume, they settle on the metal substrate, form bushes, absorb raw material. Oh, it's actually again, ready to transform and relocate to a new source. And that so truck's actually so working. Now I can tell you it's the most sophisticated form of being I've ever heard of, with all the skepticism that comes with it. What if we can drive that one? That'd be cool shit. Alright, so we got a force field. Powerful emitters in the center. Similar to those on Energobots. Emitters only? Do they look like they're buried in the ground? Yeah. Then you're looking at the top of the Energobot. Energobot. Energobots can bury themselves in such a way that only the emitters protrude from the surface. The force field melted adjacent rocks. They had to run the generator on full power. They were defending themselves after all. From the swarm of flies, I presume. We don't know how large it was. They didn't capitulate. That's a good sign. Oh, well, I don't know that. Damn. So far, I can only confirm that the field... So they opened up this generator and it melted the rocks. Wicked. The second transporter is under a force field. It's hovering above the ground. So it is operational. Probably also in better shape than the other one. Well, it certainly looks better. The cargo may be intact then. 
Alright, I think I know where to go. You want to see the little, I guess, alleyway that was, yeah, up there on the right. Let's get it. Oh wait, didn't see any of this over here. Interact. Yeah, we'll keep going. Keep on moving. Story's definitely progressed quite a bit though, huh? From whenever we first landed on this planet. Or I guess we start remembering everything. Get through this rock right here, and then we will be good to go. Actually, I did a little bit more research. I guess this game is also based off of like a comic book. Between past, present, and future is nothing but a persistent illusion. That's a quote, right? Yeah. I'm not sure why it came to mind. Astrogator, I found their probe. Looks like it hid from the flies, or just ended up here by pure luck. Luck indeed. Took a picture. Especially if they managed to photograph everything from a greater distance. Come here, little probie. Oh, that didn't work. It flew mm. away. Is it scared of you too? Uh, I'd rather say that my lack of authorization is more of a problem than me being scary. Let's follow it. Give me a little bitch. Give me. Unless I find a working controller. Yeah, they're staying away from us. Inside the field. Wait, can I touch it? Ah. Do you copy, sir? Of course. The force field doesn't block radio waves. That's cool looking. Alright. I suggest the following. If this transporter is actually running, it doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you. You're going to take the whole transporter. Yes, let's go, so baby. Flies in large numbers and a powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain in How do you get up in that damn thing? You leave Look at that, isn't that cool? Take down the force field. Turning off the force field, then transporter, departure. All clear? Hmm. All good and clear as the sky is blue. Just waiting for things to go sideways. Now I see what he talks about when he's like buried or whatever. Get the probe, wasn't letting me yes, pull the damn. Okay. Well, that's the probe. I don't have the probe, but the the core of it. Just as I thought, <laughs> the equipment's still active, but everyone here's dead. Oh, there it goes. The field is no longer a problem. Meaning? Disabled. Left is to get the flies out of there. So how do I? Oh, right here. Oh, nice. Gotta climb up. I'm climbing onto the hovering transport. Why isn't that working? Before you leave them. Oh, there it goes. Game just messed up a little bit. <clears throat> how do I check that? I gotta go left. The hell was that? Uh, all good. I hope. Will this really help our people, Astrogator? It will, I'm sure. So what? Off we go. Jasper, what are you wondering about? Uh, yeah, sure. I got lost for a moment there because of the flies. Uh, you'll have a lot of time to think about it. Now we have to check if you'll be able to leave with this transport. So eerie looking, man. I'm on it. Although, first, I'd like to see them up close. Very well. Just hurry up. See what? They have flies? She out of her damn mind? <clears throat> she out of her damn 
mind. <clears throat> Gross. Watch, they're all gonna like come flying out at her. Oh, maybe not. What the hell? Those aren't flies. Looks like dirt. Where are these flies at? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's weird. I must admit. Watching them, nothing more. Don't worry, sir. What? Some goddamn black swimmers have been in the stratosphere. Can you speak up for one? Black hole? It's turning into interstellar real quick. Whoa, what the hell's going on? This game is bogging my PC down. Probably mainly because my PC is not the greatest. Man, I was kind of hoping to drive this truck. Ooh, what the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. Why are we just sitting here? Oh. What the f What the hell are we waiting for? Why did she leave it? Oh, I'm not driving. It's just a cutscene. Like she's like somewhat connected to these things. And we crash, of course. Would have expected nothing else. It's a cinematic, so like intense. Those things are <laughs> so weird. Shit is wicked. And then we have a white screen. I like it. Yeah, this game is definitely uh very interesting. Let's just see where the hell we're at right now. Okay, so now we're back here. The hell? Hello. Dragonfly. I fell. Everything's alright. I'm fine. Oh shit, there they are. What the f What the fuck? It's those creatures. They're the ones doing it. All right. I don't know if I should interrupt your uh, speech, sir. It is quite interesting to listen to. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is too much. I'll see how many times already. <sighs> uh, the fourth time. We're up if here. I correct me. <clears throat> but I'm not planning another. The first four weren't planned either. At least we learnt the truth about this planet. And the inorganic beings that inhabit it. Yeah, let's get the hell off of here. What good does that do us, though? We know the cause of the stupor. Maybe we can find a way to cure our people. If anyone from the Alliance survived, and they already started their research into a cure. They were all dead. It's more likely they're all dead. Yeah. Not necessarily. It's a large base, and I only found a few bodies. The rest of them must be somewhere. Find more corpses, yes. So, hey, 
Oh, the balloon's gone. Something changed. The balloon over the base disappeared. You mean it flew away, or did it fall to the ground? Oh, I hope it's a latter. If it caught the west wind, it would have fallen in this area. Is that it right there? We're lucky. Yeah, right hanging there. from a cliff, close to the ground. Can you get to it? Unhook it. Can I? Maybe that won't be necessary. <sighs> Gotta get back in. Oh shit! Look, people. Somebody's here. If all you're seeing is dots on the tracker. No. I can see them with my own eyes. Why are they just staring there? Them even. Two people alive. Uh oh. Huh? Where did they go? Have you lost them? Well, I can't see them now. They were here just a second ago. Are you sure? What did they look like? One was wearing an alliance suit, a green one. The other one. Right, I couldn't tell that. Know. He I cannot tell that. I see. And now they are nowhere to be found. Damn right. Doctor. Oh, just a moment ago, my consciousness was over the ocean. I saw a big black cloud that appeared out of nowhere, which I then forgot. And now these ghosts. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The sight of them was so. That's gonna go vivid. this way, huh? Just for no? a moment. I've been looking for someone for so long. I suggest focusing on what's certain. That we get down there. there if it had operational cameras, we might get some answers. You don't Where do I go from here? Investigator. I'm going. The rover is nearby if needed. Good to know. Thank you. How are you feeling? Uh, Shitty. Let me just say this. Literally everything hurts. I don't know where frustration ends and a contused lung. I'm not jumped down at all. Well, at least. Yes. I'm alive. So, how, to freak... how do I get down here? You know what, sir? It was these flies from the very beginning. They go down this way? My accident. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, it, it's true. I, I hurt myself badly back then. Damaged the radio. But that's not why I lost my memory. Soon after, flies flew from the bushes. Right. There were bushes there too. They subjected me to an electromagnetic field. Moreover, I believe the same thing happened to our people in the camp. To the antimat in those tunnels. And to the whole convoy. Well, that yes. truck just drove up there. <laughs> I think it's just loading in. It looked like I just drove up. <laughs> Excuse me. At least we got the truck back. We could just drive over there instead of having to run. There's Red Planet. Let's hurry up and get in here. Go take a look at this balloon. Can I just drive? Oh, nice, I can. I think we can just go this way, right? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I can. Cool. Then I think I gotta turn right up here. Or. Yes, now, focus. What now? I think it was this way. Yeah, it should be up here. Uh oh. Is something else happening? Or is that just a truck making a noise? There's the balloon. Okay, I see it. Stay on the road. I'm getting close to this fallen balloon. Ah, 
What's so funny? Uh, oh, nothing, sir. It's just, in my mind, it sounded like... like the title of some Renaissance painting. The Fallen Balloon of Regis. <laughs> yes, exactly. Right here. I found the recorder. The Fallen Recorder of Regis. Uh, please stop. Get this open, figure out what the hell we can find from this. From the top. Let's see. The 25th day of the mission. Morning. The balloon goes up. You can see the immediate surroundings of the base. They're operating at full capacity. The base is active. Huh. I didn't see that from below. They parked several vehicles on top of a nearby hill. Huh. The balloon is moving away from the base. Which direction? Approximately south. It found some water reservoirs, many of them. Rocks, water, sand. Anything hmm. noteworthy? No, not really. No people, units, nor significant changes in the surroundings. The balloon's completing nope. its loop. It seems quieter at the base. But there's still a few people. Two vehicles that weren't there before. And they're grouping up. A dozen people gathered in the square. Next to the vehicles. And they've left. No, they left. There are no vehicles. <clears throat> There's no one. They must have set off towards their old base. Or to the ship. But why didn't they wait for the convoy to return? Maybe they didn't know the others were in trouble. Doubtful. It was after the clouds attack. Well then, apparently that's how the Alliance treats its people. Lousily, without dignity. The subsequent shots are similar to each other. They show an empty base. There are actually quite a few of these. Oh. Yes, right. Captured the moment I entered the base. Yep. And it's empty again. At two o'clock in the afternoon, I was on my way to the convoy by then. Let's see if anything else happens afterwards. Maybe. Wait, you're wrong. Someone was in the base. A man. So Where the hell do you see that at? Yes, I I'm not crazy. I saw him. I never suggested you were. But nevertheless, I apologize. Shouldn't have doubted your words, Shasta. But where is this man now? And can we expect any more? I don't know, you tell me. I think he's near the base. Judging by the last slide, the Alliance must have a hideout there. And we need to go back, I guess. Alright. Guess we gotta get back in the truck. Whoa, come on, PC. Load up. You know, Doctor, decades of space travel have instilled a certain conviction in me. I think people can be more dangerous and deceitful than anything else we may encounter on our journey. I know that. Sometimes I think the presence of humans is the worst thing that happened in space. Or to space, even. Then why do you insist on seeking them out? Because I also believe in human goodness. The selfless desire to help others. I can't believe otherwise. All my efforts would be meaningless. I don't know whether to envy you or... To worry even more. 
I've driven into a side location. Oh, they were very active here too. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I took the wrong turn. Oh, wait. Obtaining research material from the walls surrounding the valley. <clears throat> Where you go? Nope. Cutting out blocks of rock. That must have been from. Are they performing geological research. I'm supposed to come here the very first time. I'm just going back on old dialogue. It sounds like or seems. For the alliance side of this. Uh oh. We lost. <clears throat> well, that's blocked off for a reason. Back up. So how do we? Uh, maybe we do have to stop over there. I should move. Oh, there's no time. Well, I don't remember coming to this little T point. Now that I think about it, but. Solid metal, sharp edged lumps. Somewhere else I need to go. Excavation site. Don't the really try to fly, Jasna. Nothing guarantees it works. I didn't even. Uh, contrary to what you believe, sir, I don't have a death wish. We could have shoot. We could fly it, though. Okay, so now we're back here. Is not what we want. Oh boy. We are lost. Okay, let's see. I feel like none of this was here earlier. Will the Alliance hideout? How the freak? Okay. Here's the hideout right there. So we gotta go right. Man, this is really bogging down my... No, what are you doing? I didn't want to get out. What the hell? Alright, I want to go straight. I'm still here, if you're wondering, So sir. I know I have to go right. It all just... takes longer than expected. I think I, I just keep going it. straight. You right? need to explain yourself, Doctor. Yep. We're in this together. Go straight. Oh yeah, I went way the wrong way, didn't I? I think I kept going straight. I think I went that way. Step this way. <clears throat> now we should be on the right path. Now we're on the right path. Now that was a little confusing. Oh, there's the probe. I just could have oh, followed this guy. The probe again. It's right near the base, within range of the control center. Uh, affirmative. And? Do you expect me to rummage through the enemy's equipment? Again? Well, in my opinion, the more we learn while delaying our encounter... He was up here, wasn't he? Better. So, what will it be, Doctor? 
The probe isn't that important. I've seen enough of their slides. I know enough. Where was this guy at, though? Okay, right, so... Let's get out. Should we be back to the right somewhere? Up here, right? I was in... No? Ah, here we go. This is where I need to go, I think. Yes! I could have spent countless days in this base and still not discovered their hideout. And it's right above my head. So how do All I... I needed to do was look up. Over here. So okay. There's a view of the entire base from up there. I'll confirm when I get there. But I know it's on your mind, sir. I could have been under surveillance ever since I arrived here. Don't turn off your tracker. Maybe it'll give you a slight advantage before meeting them. <laughs> Well, they could have been watching me the whole time and didn't say shit. Those bastards. I have to climb without safety equipment. Those There's bastards. Be seen. <clears throat> no alternative route. Um, there you go. Oh, and then we're gonna black out again. Oh, maybe not. How much oxygen do these spacesuits have? I'm, uh, I'm alright. I'm almost there. It's the last moment to go back. And do what? As far as I remember, we ran out of options here. It's just, if I were you... With all due respect, Astrogator, it is me being stuck on this surface. So if you let me, I'll take my chances. And I will... I will find the man. Dang, look how high up that is. Holy shit. Have you... <clears throat> Made the climb worth it already. So you're on top? Yes. Activity within radius? I heard no beeps. I see no dots. Oh. oh shit. How? What? I found him. Very well. Now keep your distance and be careful. It's too late. What? I can't hear you. It's too late to keep. Yeah, now what is it? Why is it too late? Uh -oh. Jasper, speak to me. He's looking for others. He's... <laughs> you. What have you done? Uh-oh. Shit. He found <clears throat> you too. Why? And he's blaming us. What did it gain you? That's not good. Listen. I don't know what you're blaming me for. Get up. Much for talking. Yasna, don't provoke him. If you would just listen to me for one moment. I said get up. You don't need to be afraid. I, I come in peace. Oh, save it. Guarantee you'll have time to talk later. What? Just keep your mouth shut for your own good. Okay, the hell? Stay calm. <laughs> He's going to lead you to his superiors, which is good in theory. Looks like we know there's someone alive, but how many people are going going to be alive where we go? Maybe a lot, or it could just be him. Let's see. Unleash such murderous shit. Hey, don't turn around. Okay, I'm down. It's more like turn around, just like rush him and tackle him and see if I can get his gun. Can I? 
You're a scientist, just like me. Now, what are you, you doing? You don't shoot at people. Shoot. He has a gun. I'm a technician, smartass. Firearms or chemical weapons. What's the difference? Eesh. Same outcome. Look, I know that people have died. Your comrades. But you have to understand. Huh. I see you're no longer pretending. Listen, you'll stand before the Astrogator or the entire council. That's right. Obviously. It's really not necessary. But if you try anything, I'll do it. I'll shoot you. Yes, no. I don't know what you're trying to do, but he sounds serious. Take it easy, please. I'll handle him. Huh? What are you babbling on about? A death wish. Only short answers from now on. I'll ask the questions and you'll answer with a short yes or no if you think it's safe to do so. Or some code. Maybe grunts. Do you understand? Uh-huh. Good, good. Is there anyone else? Apart from him? Uh-uh. Okay. Start, damn it. Uh, do you want to tell me something about this man? Something about his appearance, maybe? Uh-huh. Does it concern his outfit? Uh-huh. Which part? When it rains, it pours, huh? Legs? Uh-huh. It's about the legs? No. Uh, I must have misheard. Let's try again. Does it concern... Legs? Come on. Uh-huh. Yes, I caught that one before. Now keep in mind that there's something special about him that you can see and that I cannot hear. But what exactly, I don't know. It works. Let's go. Break time's over. I can hear something's happening. Oh, you keep it up. Straight ahead. And where is he taking you? Do you think you could ask? Where are you taking me? You came here yourself. So what are you expecting, huh? Mm. No, wait. You set up a field base down there, so I didn't expect you to have a second one here. Yeah, really? Oh, really? I'm listening. I have no idea what this place is, nor why or, or where you're leading me. Doctor, bite your tongue for once. Somehow, I don't expect I'll meet your astrogator here. You're right. It's just me and my colleagues. Yes, no, I'm listening. The signal is getting weaker. Wherever he's leading you, we won't be able to communicate. <laughs> Get in. Go, Yasna. I, I, I don't want to. Go. Yasna, I'm scared. Ah. I'll do everything in my... Oh, we've lost it. So now what? Now we're completely disconnected. <clears throat> Just keep going. Figure out how the hell we're going to get out of this situation. Anybody else, though? And don't you dare move. Oh, there's another person. Oh, he went crazy, too. Well, what the? That's even more than we need. What the hell? He's got these guys on leashes. Exactly the funny types. Although Spliskus, the speleologist, sounds pretty damn hilarious. Come on, you must be hungry. One for you, and one. 
or Spluskas? Spluskas. I'll pass for now. Wouldn't be able to swallow anything anyway. Spluskas, my friend. It's just me. Take it easy. You're safe. But you have to eat something. To have strength. Oh, gee. Don't do that. It's tasty. Eat. Come on, eat. Did you like it? Very nice. A few more. Unfortunately, I don't have any good news. I've searched the caves. I know Dr. Magdob went down there. If only you could tell me which cave she worked in. Maybe it would be easier then. If only you could. Hmm. Zebulon has also gone missing without a trace. I don't even know where to look. And the whole convoy crew. I'll go there tomorrow. Maybe by then, with reinforcements. Um, pretty sure they're all dead. And it went smoothly. And you objected so much. Let's do that now. This guy's gonna check me out now. <laughs> well, this is creepy. <laughs> Business. He came up to me. Hello, Bridge. Rohitra speaking. <sighs> Rohitra. Can you hear me? Over. You're still not getting through. This is an urgent announcement. It's the 26th day of the mission, 1300 hours, 42 minutes. I am reporting the presence of Commonwealth units on the surface of the planet. I have arrested one person. It's a woman, unarmed. I haven't noticed any other people or other units nearby, but this person was in active radio contact. I'm requesting backup, over and out. Hey, Milos, hope you're still in range. Listen, the Commonwealthers are here. I have one of them, uh, a woman. She was talking to someone on the radio, but I didn't see anyone around. Doesn't sound like he's getting through to anyone. Can I move around? Nope, can't move. Are we able... I see what you're doing. Uh, I just wanted to sit more comfortably. Yeah, sure. Better get comfortable with discomfort. We'll sit around for a while. My name's Yasna. Mm, not that I'm asking. Oof. <clears throat> You're Rohitra, right? <clears throat> I work as an astrobiologist. Uh, spy. Don't eavesdrop on me, Yasna. Don't talk to me. Uh, I just wanted to ask. Don't ask. <laughs> uh, so what now? Uh, talk to the wall? I'm not prohibiting you from doing that. Yet. You've been camping here long. Do you have air filters here? <sighs> Did you know there's methane in the atmosphere? I know. These tanks are a, a temporary solution. Uh, are you shielding yourself from the flies? Uh, from what? Flies. Y you named them that yourself. I mean, the Alliance did. Seems to me that the commanding staff will have a lot to talk to you about. Fortunately, I don't have to. Uh, wait. 
Condor. Condor what? You. Are you from Condor's crew? Yeah, so? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Here we can agree. You're talking complete nonsense. What do you mean? How come that's such a revelation? This is your flagship. If we'd known there was a ship of this class here, we would never have landed on Regis III. That was not our mission. There you go. Will you finally admit what you were up to here? I'm from the Dragonfly, a small research unit. We're looking for planets with rich flora and fauna. That's the only reason we landed here. <laughs> no way. This planet is a complete corpse. According to estimations, it should be teeming with life. With its atmospheric composition and insulation, it should be a veritable paradise. We couldn't have predicted that- Fine, fine. If you don't want to tell me the whole truth, then don't. But do not lie. Do not lie. Dude. Uh, do you smoke? <clears throat> what if I hadn't run out? Ooh, cool. Well, it takes. That's a good brand. <laughs> Coven always smoked them. That will calm him down a bit. <clears throat> Sorry, but I wasn't lying. We're just scientists who've had awful luck. Uh -huh. Our intelligence, your intelligence. Our orders, your orders. It's all gone to hell, Rahitra. Now we need to focus on the people. I know what's wrong with them. Should I expect them here? Your people? I'm the only one left on the surface. The astrogator stays in the orbiting dragonfly, and there's no contact with the rest. If you lie, you only harm them. Several dozen of our men set off when we lost a condor. If they find more Commonwealth spies, they may be less sympathetic than I am. Commonwealth spies? <laughs> if they return to the ship, why did you stay? Got your ass. Who may have survived. Oh, how many of you were affected? A fair few, right? Almost all of them. I, I don't want to talk about it. Mm. Got your ass. So, is that it, or...? When was the last time you had something to drink? The last time? I don't even remember. Thought so. It's water. Local, but treated. Go ahead. You must be thirsty after everything you've been through. No thanks. I see. So, all in all, we don't trust each other. I know what caused it, and how. This planet is inhabited by microbots that your scientists have called flies. Millions of microbots. A real cloud. What? A cloud of flies, which can literally erase the human mind, wash away all memories. That sounds... Can you prove it somehow? I could, if you released me. Nice try. We'll do as follows. Mark 10 will watch over you, and I'll keep an eye out for Milos. As soon as he returns with help, you will show us this cloud. Mark 10, come to me. Supervisory procedure. One person, a woman. No Alliance ID. Targeted. I confirm. Should I start the surveillance? Yes. Guard our guest. Oh, great. Nice. We got a little robot partner. Nice. Sneak out. You don't know the concept of weariness, do you? Arctan, check that noise. Oh, nothing. Oh.
Can I wake this guy up? Ah, there you go. Trust that guy. Oh, nice. Literally, it's nothing. Oh, did we just fall through? It worked. We just fell through the map. All right. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, <clears throat> since I fell through the map. This might be a good stopping point. We can always pick up from uh, trying to get out. <laughs> Literally, go fall into the map. Okay. Well, this is going to be the, the end of this part, and uh, I'm going to have to restart the game and pick up. I'm assuming it's going to start from where we had to sneak out. But if you enjoyed it, please go ahead and leave a like. If you didn't, go ahead and dislike it anyway. Let me know what you think of the game so far. If you decided that maybe you want to play it, or if you have played it, let me know what you think of it. Other than that, I will catch you guys later. Thanks. Have a good one.